freshman rookie congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, really actress, is trending in the news again, this time for doing an Instagram Live and assembling furniture while talking about the world ending in 12 years and, of course, this somehow related to the civil rights movement. Yes, I am not joking around. And if you really want to look at the bigger agenda being portrayed here in the media, what the establishment wants you to think, well, you just look at the people that they highlight and the people that they ignore, specifically women like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a woman of color in politics, compared to another woman of color, Tulsi Gabbard, who's not really getting that much attention. But Jason, let's unravel the kind of love affair that the media is having with their reactions, with their just gloating and absolute, how else do you call it, Jason? Uh, <laughs> Love affair with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who, in my opinion, you know, sadly here, they're trying to make very popular. But again, there's not much independent thought. There's not much critical analysis from her. And a lot of people around the, the United States pretty much don't like her, including major unions. But what do you make of this latest kind of PR stunt with her uh, live stream assembling IKEA furniture, Jason? Well, I don't want to rip too hard into it until we start actually watching it. But, you know, some of the highlights is, oh, look, I'm putting together a table. It's not furnished yet. Now, you can kind of see right there the, the flooring, Luke, and we'll get to that later. But when you see how gorgeous this apartment is, it's her very humble abode. Let me tell you something. People go to college for eight years, work well through their 20s into their 30s to have an apartment like this in a city like that. Bottom yeah. line. Okay, that, that's the truth. And this woman, she didn't work. She can go to college for eight years. Okay. <laughs> she worked. And, hey, I'm a laborer. I'm all about the bar business. I love the bar business. That's great. She even says a little truth. Even Tucker Carlson gave her a little credit. But... With her first piece of legislation being so laughable that not one person would vote for it, with it being so childlike in its uh, promotion initially with things like cow farts, uh, which were really in there, guys, all right, and uh, unwilling to work, also in the promotion, and then a 12-page uh, piece of drivel that we covered here that was just so sky-eyed and cookie-tailed, it just shows you that they're not even promoting reality anymore. And I yeah. know that this is, you know, they've made it partisan, left or right. This is, to me, it's not about left or right. It's about dumb or freaking dumbest. Forget about dumber. Dumb and dumbest. <laughs> Get in there. But Jason, Jason, we have photos of the apartment that she uh, lives in. And we also have other records showing that she's not really Jenny from the block, from the Bronx, really from a suburban kind of upper establishment community where she went to a very uh, kind of a rich elitist school as well. But that's a whole other topic. Let's get into the video. Let's get into this kind of larger PR stunt that she's launching to look like she's one of the people and that the media are trying to sell to us right now. Let's just play it and, and give our reactions. Hi, I haven't seen this yet. Jason, you haven't seen Hi. it, but let's give our commentary uh, live here. How many years until the world ends again? We have 12 years left to cut emissions by at least 50%. If look, look at her nibbling. I got to stop it right. She's a nibbler. She's. We have 12 years to cut our emissions by... Guys, I'm going to say it again to everybody here. I actually care about the environment. All right? Some of the pollutants we put out into the air, the water, the land, they're absolutely despicable. The plastic in the ocean is a real problem. The uh, military testing that nobody talks about, um, not only in the oceans around the world, but the skies, never even discussed. That is doing so much damage you can't imagine. And listen, there is a lot of corporate, unregulated, especially in places like China, where they're just, forget about the pollutants they're putting out there. They're making this about carbon dioxide and it tax on life. She's talking about carbon emissions. That means yeah. you got two cars, you better have one. You got four yeah. kids, you better have two. All right? Do you They're understand? Yeah. Yeah. Cutting They're in half is a big deal. 
Yeah, it's breathing. <laughs> they're, they're, they're trying to charge you and control you in so many different levels. Meanwhile, I'm not addressing the true problems, which you just brought up. Africa, China, and India that create most of the pollutions. Plus, Jason, another important side note before we keep playing this, it's it's uh, it's it's not good to chew and talk at the same time. Let's keep going. Hey, you know, she wants a little nibble. I, I might get a little more endeared. Ocasio, I don't mind a little uh, nibbling. But when we're talking about the same, the same talking point that every single one of these people says... We need emissions by half in 12 years. Emissions by half. It's never going to happen. It's imagination land. Let's go. It's not more. And for everyone who wants to make a joke about that, you may laugh, but your grandkids will not. Oh. So understand that the internet <coughs> documents everything. And for all those people... You know, you want to look about, you want to talk about looking in the back of history, looking backwards. You look back and you open history books on the civil rights movement and you see those folks who are protesting against the ability for African Americans and black Americans to have the right to vote. And they would hold up these bigoted signs and they would hold up I need to stop this right now because we're talking what? about being on the right side of history. And she's correct. The uh, Thanks, Luke. The That's internet, my response to it. I, <laughs> the <laughs> internet. <laughs> dude, dude, she just compared the world ending in 12 years. The 12 years to the civil rights movement and people protesting against African Americans. Uh, all right. So, again, she says that the <laughs> internet documents everything. She's right. And our internet now has been around for a good 20 plus years, Luke, right? So things like, you know, Al Gore's climate change hoax movie that's been around forever, an inconvenient truth, inconveniently did not come true for Mr. Gore. All right? Now, in those same, oh, you're killing me with that thing. In those same history books she's talking about, right around the same time, that they were teaching about protests and segregation. Let's say that the history books, while the civil rights movement was going on 50s, 60s, even into the 70s, they were teaching some pretty bigoted stuff. I went to the school in the 80s. I don't know about you, Luke. I know 90s. But I was always taught uh, about Martin Luther King Jr. as a hero and the civil rights movement as positive. Okay? Born in 79, guys. So by then, let's say the civil rights movement picks up in the 50s. 25 years later, I'd say the history books had it right. But at the same time that they didn't have it right, they were teaching about global cooling, not warming, Ocasio. All right? That's an inconvenient fact and truth, just like your friend Al Gore over there. So listen, in 12 years when we haven't cut emissions by half and we're all okay and, uh, you know, Maybe my kids, hopefully, let's God willing, <laughs> my kids are around. We can stop with the nonsense and we can start going with the real pollutants. I'm just going to continue this. I mean, my eyes. Like, keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. And like all of this stuff in nineteen, in the nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties. So just know that in the present day, there are a lot of people who hide the fact that their families and that their grandparents fought again against principles of equal rights in the United States. Not a hundred years ago, not 80 years ago, but in this generation's lifetime. So just know that while a lot of people can hide that their grandparents did that in the civil rights movement, you should also know that the internet documents everything and your grandchildren will not be able to hide the fact that you fought against acknowledging and taking bold actions on climate change. They'll also not be able to hide the fact that you flashed everybody at a spring break party when you were a sophomore in college because you streamed what? it live on the internet. I'm just saying that the internet is documenting she everything. Did? Are you just? I'm not accusing she... Ocasio of, any, of, of anything such. You're killing me, Luke. I've tried to do this video with you. This is what I put up with, folks. <laughs> I, I'm sh I'm legitimately shocked here. <laughs> so let's, let's close out the last 20 seconds of her ignorant comments. Look at that face. 
That's a real face. Yeah, That's not a filter face. I, I mean, she, she's evoking the civil rights and MLK here. I don't think MLK would have been backing the FBI and CIA and their kind of conspiracy theories uh, against Donald Trump with the Russian collusion lie like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And it's really laughable to see her compare, you know, climate change or at least the, the, the kind of controlling aspects of climate change that they're trying to initiate to control and tax people um, as a way that it's somehow considerable to MLK, who was definitely not uh, alongside cheerleading the FBI and CIA uh, around uh, fake conspiracy theories for a bigger political power play. Uh, that's absolutely not the truth, and I believe this is a larger kind of disservice to the legacy of Martin Luther King. I mean, I mean, I, we've done so many videos on MLK, and the truth about him uh, is so important. He was vilified by the mainstream media. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is celebrated uh, by a lot of the yuppies and limousine liberals in the media that uh, are related to her and want her to be as popular as uh, as she is right now and why everyone's talking about her, mainly because of the media's reaction to it. Uh, and, and again, there's so many different bylines that we can make here, but when you really look into the true history of MLK, it is one where he was vilified, he was attacked, he was, he was again, time and time again seen as the biggest, biggest enemy uh, on national television. Uh, and again, there's no relation to this. Jason, let's get let's get into some of the, the, the bigger aspects here because, again, she's trying to be very relatable. She's on the ground. It's not very organized. She's putting together furniture. She's talking about sleeping on the floor, supposedly. On a mattress on the floor. The bigger, bigger... Hold on, guy. She says she's got a mattress. She's not a hobo. She's got a mattress. <laughs> Matches whatever, whatever. Yeah. But can we show some of the can we show some of the Daily Mail photos of, of uh, the apartment that she's uh, renting out of? Uh, and, and again, you know, it's fine to have nice things, but when you're railing against people and trying to control and regulate them and take away nice things from other people, there's some hypocrisy here that needs to be called out. I think, Jason, that's at least from my point of view. And she is the biggest kind of epitome of just big government, big regulation that may, absolutely makes no sense at all. Because you want to deal with climate change, supposedly you want to deal with the environment being hurt you deal with the military industrial complex you deal with the u.s de defense department being the largest polluter in the western world you deal with china you deal with africa you deal with india uh and then you have a significant significant uh decrease of, of pollutants in the environment plastic in the oceans and uh, allegedly co2 which again is still debatable uh in my own opinion uh, but again, the answers are, are pretty much uh, ludicrous here, uh, in my opinion. What do you think, Jason? I just don't know what else you get for somebody who obviously didn't have political aspirations five years ago, four years ago, three years ago. Maybe not even, you know, probably maybe two years ago. I She was thinking, well, I'm in this bar and, well, I got kind of involved in other things. And maybe now is the time. And all of a sudden... You know, the, the Social Democrats get together and they're looking for that candidate in a district that basically they know they're going to win. And boom, you have this person on the scene that is thrust into the limelight like they're literally the lead singer of the biggest rock band in the world. And we're talking magazine covers, daily coverage on every major, every major news site. I mean, look, they're selling you a product just like I've discussed before. She's trying to look like so humble, but you know, I'll tell you right now, that pool we're looking at ain't so humble. That kitchen, oh, yeah. it's a pretty nice kitchen. People work hard for decades to get to this spot. Uh, Jason, one thing I wanted to say, I'm calling this, and what she's gonna do next is probably uh, going to be putting on uh, a, a mask and, and have a towel on her head. That This is most likely the next scenario we're gonna see on a live stream from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And I'm saying this mainly because we see this time and time again uh, with politicians to be more popular. We saw this with Elizabeth Warren and she pulled this off horribly, <laughs> horribly. But there is something to say about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. So, so she's pulling it off where people are legitimately not cringing as much and she's being more natural than of course all the other pundits out there. And she's, she's, she's a great actress. I'm trying to look for more filters I could implement here into our video feed. But other than that, Jason, uh, I think it's important to point out uh, what's happening here. I think it's important to <laughs> just, just take a look at, at everything here, face value, and uh, call out the bigger hypocrisies. Uh, what do you guys think in the comment section below? Let me know. Jason, any last final thoughts, and do you want to end it? 
Well, sir, I would just like to let people know that uh, I do not endorse Luke's filters whatsoever. They are a huge annoyance to me while I'm trying to maintain You're my not thought in love process. With them? Um, but we are doing four videos a day. That's one, two, three, four, three over on the backup, one on the main. If you are not subscribed to We Are Change or Pulse Change, please do so now. Let's ring that bell because that's the way you get notifications. And please share this stuff on social media. In the meantime, get out there and be the change you want to see in the world.